Hello my roses, this is Budgeting Rose and in today's episode I'm going to discuss um, the financial goals you should have for your 30s and um, so I'm working on these also so don't just assume like oh yeah I got it all made, I did all this, no no, no 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 no, nope I'm still working on this and um, these aren't like just my tips that I made up out of my head because I'm brilliant and a genius. No, no. These are things Dave Ramsey says. Um, he's a financial guru who I follow. He has the baby steps um, from articles I've read. And also I added a YouTube family. Um, I forgot their name right now, so I'll, I'll add their name. Um, I watched them and there's, their tips was like for it financial goals for your 40s. So, so I was like, mm, let me get started on those. Um, so I'll also add their their name. They were, I really like them and I'm following them. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing is you need to invest in yourself. Um, so whatever field you're working in, if you're in the medical field, science, government, um, grocery store, whatever the field you're working in, you need to keep to up to date with what's going on in your field. Um, what I found is that you can learn, like when you first start a job, yeah, you, you don't know anything about that job. But within the first year, you can do your entire job with your eyes closed. And then the rest of the years after that, you're just doing the same things on a different day. Unless you're specific things that, yes, you're your day changes but for the rest of us you can do that stuff with your eyes closed so it's important to look up youtube videos of your field and then you know learn something new about it keep your skills up to date if there's continuing continuing education classes you need to take make sure you take them if um there's like amazing people in your field that are doing things follow them read just keep up to date so that if it ever you need to leave this job, you have skills for the next position. My next tip is, um, my, my next goal is uh, learn how to say no to friends and family. So when you start getting money, um, yeah, so a lot of times, like, yeah, your friends, family will be there to like, you know, help you spend that money. But you need to focus on your goals, get it all done, and then... You can help your friends and family if you want. This one is my favorite. So do not be loyal to companies. So of course you're like, uh, being loyal is good. No, no, it's not. When it comes to companies, um, they will drop you. They don't care about you. They care about your dollars. And when they're done with you, they will throw you away. I'm sorry to be the one to say it, but it had to be said. All right, now that we got that over with, what the heck do I mean by this? So let me give you an example. Car insurance. If you drive a car, you have to have car insurance in my state of New Jersey. So um, yeah, you can stay with your same car insurance for all the years you have your car. But understand that when you mess up or they feel you, they no longer want to cover you for whatever the reason, they will drop you. Um... So you being loyal to them, what is it getting you? So what I recommend is at least every year, once every two years, look at other, when you're about to pay for your, renew your car insurance, go ahead, click on that button, look up other car insurance companies and see how much it'll cost you to um, pay them to cover your car. Because a lot of times it will be cheaper somewhere else. And so go with that, go with that cheaper option. Boom. Okay. So if you are an apartment or you rent, uh, definitely, definitely get renter, renter's insurance. And this is important because, um, let, let me, let me paint a picture for you guys. It's not a nice picture. So you are in your apartment, everything's great, you have cute stuff, you have your computer, your laptop, your clothes, your camera equipment, whatever else, those kind of things. Um, and then a fire breaks out. You lose all your possessions, but thankfully you're alive. Okay. So the landlord who owns that house, they have homeowner's insurance. So eventually they'll get either 
they'll get a check for, oh my God, sorry, you lost your house. Here's a check to rebuild, buy another one, whatever. And you will have nothing, no check. You won't have no house, you just nothing. But with renter's insurance, if that happens and you qualified, cause you know, they, they make their own conclusions. Um, you would get a check for, to help you pay, you know, buy the stuff again. Um, so, and it's not crazy expensive. It's li really not. So I never used to do it, but now, yeah, yeah, I, I have renter's insurance. Oh, big, big, big one. Pay off your student loans. So I'm, I'm still working on this one, but I can't wait two to three years from now. I'll be totally, totally done with my student loans. They'll be gone out of my life and it'll be amazing. So I recommend that for you guys too. You don't want that debt just hanging over you forever. That's money you could have been doing other things with. So get cracking, pay them off, pay off your credit cards. Oh yes. I, I rent, I did add some credit card debt for myself, but I am working to pay it off and then I'll be credit card free. Once again, have a three to six months emergency fund. So I'm not there yet. I'm still on baby step two and Dave Ramsey, um, baby steps. Um, so I just needed a $1,000 emergency starter emergency fund, but later on I will save up the three to six months emergency fund. Um, but for me, I feel I will actually save up for one year. This is important. Review your credit report every year. So that's important in terms of, um, there's three credit reporting bureaus and they know everything. So you owe a debt to somebody, they have it written down somewhere. You didn't pay it on time. It's written down. They know exactly when you didn't pay what month. And a lot of times you can, you just want to check that all the things on that report are really things you did and not somebody who stole your identity, ran, put up all these bills, put up all these debts in your name, and you just don't know. You're just going through life not knowing. So um, once a year, they offer um, to give you their credit report for free. So I suggest applying, getting it, and reviewing it. And then you can also see your score. So there, I know a lot of banks now and credit cards give you um, like a access to your credit score now, like more availably, like monthly, whatever. So you can check that out too. Make a will. So you're like, I don't own anything besides debt, but make a will. It's, it's just better. You're making a plan for what happens after you die to your stuff. Um, save for what you want. Yes. It's easier and quicker to just use a credit card, but then you have to pay for it later. So if you just saved for what you wanted, you would have just gotten it that first time and then it's done versus you got it, you put it on your credit card, then you're paying back the credit card company. Start a retirement fund or add to your retirement fund. So the sooner you can do that, the better. Um, with Dave Ramsey, he says like, stop this for a little bit while you're paying off all your debt and then restart it and just go ham on it. Just go fast, hard on it. This is so that when you retire later in life, um, you have money coming in that you worked for that's now available for you to use. So those are my, that's my list of financial goals for your thirties. Uh, let me know what goals you guys have and please make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye my roses. Bye.